We're continuing our series on colon and rectal cancer today, and today's topic is staging. When a cancer is diagnosed, the medical provider will always stage the cancer because that helps in the treatment plan that's going to take place. So doctor, if you will, explain to us staging in colon and rectal cancer. Well, counselor, uh, staging is important because it determines how big the tumor is, where it is, and how far it is spread. And that has a major impact on your treatment modalities. Uh, you will receive, if you are unfortunately a victim of uh, this disease, you will be staged and receive a number from zero to four, usually written in uh, Roman numerals. Stage zero cancer is very, very superficial. It's on the edge of the mucosa uh, within the lining of the bowel and it shows no evidence of invasion whatsoever. Stage one colorectal cancer uh, involves the mucosa with invasion to the next layer, which is the submucosa, uh, but it doesn't go and it doesn't go through it. Stage two disease involves a disease that starts the mucosa, invades the submucosa and the surrounding uh, muscle around the rectum and can include invasion uh, to adjacent organs such as the uterus, the ovaries in the female, uh, or the bladder in the male or female. Uh, stage three suggests that there is involvement in the lymph nodes and this is the first step to distant metastasis, distant spread. And stage four disease is when you have metastatic disease and the colorectal cancer has now moved to organs far away from the bowel itself. Thank you, doctor.